Okay, the Singapore World Spirits Competition is part of the Tasting Alliance, recognized as the world's most influential organization for awarding outstanding beer, wine, and spirits. And guess what? Michigan-based 8 Mile Vodka has been awarded a gold medal. Jordan is back there to let us know if the taste is worthy of the awards. Well, let's just start, I mean, with the bottle. The bottle is beautiful itself. Adam is here with me, Adam Targansky from 8 Mile Vodka. This is what the vodka bottle looks like. It's absolutely beautiful, it's but stunning. I love the back. There's a little message on the back. I'll just show it to the camera real quick and read it. The second sentence says, proudly produced by two sets of brothers born and raised in Detroit. This vodka is for everyone who celebrates the city we call home. Yep. Quick little elevator pitch for the vodka, but why did you get involved in this and how just big has it really taken off? You want a gold medal. Yeah, yeah, so we won a gold medal. This is actually the third year in a row that we have been recognized as one of the best tasting vodkas in the world. Um, and we're so honored to be part of uh, Singapore this year. Two years ago, it was in San Francisco. Last year, we did the Vodka Masters in London. And to have all these international competitions and, you know, uh, put a spotlight on Detroit, you know, it's good for everybody. It had to be so hard to get shelf space with vodka. There are so many brands. What is it about 8 Mile Vodka that's different and brings it to that top tier level? Yeah, so uh, it is uh, distilled here in Michigan. Uh, it previously was in Detroit, but to be quite honest, they can't keep up with the demand that we have. That's so, good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it still stays <laughs> in Michigan, but it's done in very small batches. So just 90 liters at a time so that we really can control the quality of it. It's then uh, carbon filtered and aerated uh, and bottled and it tastes just amazing. Okay, and that's what the gold medal was for, right? Yep. What are we going to make today? I know we have an example here today for a fall drink, so take me through it and let's get a taste test. Yeah, of course. So uh, we love everything about the city, no matter where you happen to be in it. And Parmenter Cider Mill in Northville is right on 8 Mile, so that goes right with us, right? Now, a lot of people will make mistakes when they're making an apple cider-based okay, drink. Okay, I got to hear it then. Maybe I'm the one making the mistake. Yeah, because a lot of times what people will do is they'll just do cider and an alcohol. Okay. But Kind of sounds like something I would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and that's great. <laughs> do, do what you like. Everything is do what you like with okay. this, right? But when you start putting that straight spirit in, it dilutes the flavor of the cider. So we make a homemade brown sugar cinnamon uh, syrup. We okay. use specifically Saigon cinnamon, so it really has a nice bite with it. So okay. we got three quarters of an ounce of that. We have two ounces of eight mile vodka. Okay. And you have about two and a half ounces of cider. Put that over ice. We like to give it a shake. So everything gets really mixed up. Sure. Gets a little bit of aeration and texture in there. Pour that out and then top it with a donut hole. And you have a perfect. I drink. think I got to give this a taste. Yeah. Please do. Okay. And what yeah. was this called again? This is called the Parmenter. Off, okay. Uh, off of the uh, the cider mill, of the same name. Now we've we've done a bunch of different like shows and competitions and stuff. This is one of our most popular drinks. This is dangerous. It's great. Isn't this is it? dangerous. Yeah. It's not too sweet, but you know what? If you like it sweet, go ahead. Make it sweeter. Put some more syrup. Now, when you're making that syrup, if you choose to do that at home, it's just equal parts of brown sugar and water. Put as much cinnamon in as you want, bring it up to a boil, let it cool, and you're all set. For 8 Mile Vodka, I mean, obviously, like I talked about in the beginning, the bottle was beautiful. You guys are in so many stores across the state. When people drink this vodka, is it more so they're looking for the taste, or do you love the message that you guys can give since you're here in Detroit? Right. Well, I mean, let's be honest about vodka. It is a colorless, flavorless <laughs> spirit. And if you've had a not-so-great vodka, you know how it tastes, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is a nice, clean, easy vodka, and everybody loves the association with 8 Mile with it. So, Adam, before we let you go, can we just get some details on uh, 8 Mile Vodka? Uh, yeah, so you can get 8 Mile Vodka anywhere that uh, smart people buy their alcohol. <laughs> anywhere, right? <laughs> anywhere that people that are smart get it. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much. Again, gold medal winner, winner in Singapore, pretty much for one of the world's best vodkas. Thank Indeed. you so much for being here, Adam. Thank you, Jordan.